Relativity is one of the most famous scientific theories of the 20th century, but how well does it explain the things we see in our daily lives? Formulated by Albert Einstein in 1905, the theory of relativity is the notion that the laws of physics are the same everywhere. The theory explains the behavior of objects in space and time, and it can be used to predict everything from the existence of black holes, to light bending due to gravity, to the behavior of the planet Mercury in its orbit. The theory is deceptively simple. First, there is no absolute frame of reference. Every time you measure an object's velocity, or its momentum, or how it experiences time, it's always in relation to something else. Second, the speed of light is the same no matter who measures it or how fast the person measuring it is going. Third, nothing can go faster than light. The implications of Einstein's most famous theory are profound. If the speed of light is always the same, it means that an astronaut going very fast relative to the Earth will measure the seconds ticking by slower than an Earth-bound observer will. Time essentially slows down for the astronaut, a phenomenon to call the time dilation. dilation field is accelerating, so it will also experience time dilation. Meanwhile, the astronaut's spaceship will experience length contraction, which means that if you took a picture of the spacecraft as it flew by, it would look as though it was squished in the direction of motion. To the astronaut on board, however, all would seem normal. In addition, the mass of the spaceship would appear to increase from the point of view of people on Earth. But you don't necessarily need a spaceship zooming at near the speed of light to see relativistic effects. In fact, there are several instances of relativity that we can see in our daily lives, and even technologies we use today that demonstrate that Einstein was right. Here are some ways we see relativity in action. Magnetism is a relativistic effect, and if you use electricity you can thank relativity for the fact that generators work at all. If you take a loop of wire and move it through a magnetic field, you generate an electric current. The charged particles in the wire are affected by the changing magnetic field, which forces some of them to move and creates the current. But now, picture the wire at rest and imagine the magnet is moving. In this case, the charged particles in the wire, the electrons and protons, aren't moving anymore, so the magnetic field shouldn't be affecting them. But it does, and a current still flows. This shows that there is no privileged frame of reference. Thomas Moore, a professor of physics at Pomona College in Claremont, California, uses the principle of relativity to demonstrate why Faraday's law, which states that a changing magnetic field creates an electric current, is true. Global Positioning System To get that pinpoint accuracy, the satellites use clocks that are accurate to a few billionths of a second, nanoseconds. Since each satellite is 12,600 miles, 20,300 kilometers, above Earth and moves at about 6,000 miles per hour, 10,000 kilometers per hour, there's a relativistic time dilation that tacks on about 4 microseconds each day. Add in the effects of gravity and the figure goes up to about 7 microseconds. That's 7,000 nanoseconds. Gold's yellow color. Gold is a heavy atom, so the inner electrons are moving fast enough that the relativistic mass increase is significant, as well as the length contraction. As a result, the electrons are spinning around the nucleus in shorter paths, with more momentum. Electrons in the inner orbitals carry energy that is closer to the energy of outer electrons, and the wavelengths that get absorbed and reflected are longer. Mercury is a liquid. Similar to gold, mercury is also a heavy atom, with electrons held close to the nucleus because of their speed and consequent mass increase. With mercury, the bonds between its atoms are weak, so mercury melts at lower temperatures and is typically a liquid when we see it. Light. If Isaac Newton had been right in assuming that there is an absolute rest frame, we would have to come up with a different explanation for light, because it wouldn't happen at all. Not only would magnetism not exist but light would also not exist, because relativity requires that changes in an electromagnetic field move at a finite speed instead of instantaneously, Moore, of Pomona College, said. If relativity did not enforce this requirement, changes in electric fields would be communicated instantaneously, instead of through electromagnetic waves, and both magnetism and light would be unnecessary. Old TV. 
Just a few years ago most televisions and monitors had cathode ray tube screens. A cathode ray tube works by firing electrons at a phosphor surface with a big magnet. Each electron makes a lighted pixel when it hits the back of the screen. The electrons fired out to make the picture move at up to 30% the speed of light. Relativistic effects are noticeable, and when manufacturers shaped the magnets, they had to take those effects into account. Einstein's theory of relativity in real life. Thanks for watching. Scientific Soul is modern way of the information sharing and student friendly organization, which is cosmically, infinitely big social network. Scientific Soul brings the universe down to size with the latest news on space exploration, science, and technology. Mission Scientific Soul is the leading education site on the web keeping up on the information and data which is helpful for students all over the world.